This course is brought to you by AppyPy as part of our Academy series. Congratulations, you've made it out of some of the theoretical parts of the course and we're going to get into some of the very practical parts of the course. In this video, I'm going to introduce ASO, App Store Search Optimization. It's how most apps get most of their downloads, so it's extremely important, extremely. And the next few videos of this course are going to be about that. And this video is just going to introduce, introduce the topic. So the way I look at ASO, ASO, App Store Search Optimization, is there are three parts to it. And ideally, you want to start at least on the first part before you start programming your app. So it's part of your app research and planning. So the first part of the app is keyword research. It's really important because the more best keywords you identify, the more you can tell, hey, is there enough demand? Can I rank for this app in the app stores? And does it make sense? And is there enough demand that I, that I can make it, make it into a big enough business? And how competitive is it? So this is really important and it's almost, it's very foundational. So if you get this part wrong, it negates a lot of your future efforts because the foundation of your app store marketing is not right. So this is gonna be very important. We're gonna give this a lot of attention in the course. The next thing after you've identified your keywords, you wanna put those keywords onto the app listing. We'll, we'll go through that as well. And, and the first two parts are things you can do qu pretty quickly, maybe within a day once you become good at it. Like literally today, you'll be able to complete that if you apply yourself. The hard part about ranking is you, after your launch, after day one, you're like the last app for your keyword, right? On day one, you're the last app and so you have to rank higher, 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 jump over the other apps, and that can take some time. So the, the challenging part is the ranking higher part. We'll actually go through that as well. Now, most people think when they're promoting their app, first-time app entrepreneurs, they think they're going to promote their apps on Instagram, Facebook, maybe they'll run some Facebook ads also. But actually, that's not the most effective thing. ASO, that's the most effective thing. So I also want to want you to start thinking because it's very likely that most people taking this course have had this misconception about how they're going to promote. So right away, that's a very common mistake. We're going to fix that. Why? Because search brings you the best, most consistent traffic because once you rank, you rank sometimes for weeks, months, sometimes years. Like I've had an app that's ranked for over five years and among number one. So, and I don't even have to do anything. So, and also when people search, they already want what you have. So search brings you the best uh, quality leads. They're most engaged. They're more likely to share. They're more likely to like your app. They're more likely to leave nice reviews. A little bit more on ASO. It's a little bit, it's similar, but a little different than SEO for SEO, you know, you, you know, from Google search. The main difference in how it's going to affect your app is that on your website, you get many, 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 many pages, but on the app store, you really just get one app store listing. And so the app store listing can really only allow you to rank for one uh, set of keywords. On the website, you can rank for a million different keywords. You can make a million different pages. Each one can try to rank for a new keyword. On the app stores, you only get a handful. That's the main challenge. Only a handful of keywords will be going through that stuff, don't worry. And for each keyword that you go through, that you choose, you'll evaluate demand versus volume and versus how competitive those keywords are and how, how realistic it is to rank. Now, I wanna give you a little bit of a introduction to the idea of short tail versus long tail keywords. Short tail keywords are the keywords that bring you the most traffic. For example, in the business niche, the number one keyword is obviously business. If you rank for the word business, you're golden, you're doing well, but that's where all the competition is. So all the million and billion dollar apps are ranking as well, so you have to compete with some of the best. So what happens is because usually in the beginning you can't compete against the best, you go for longer keywords that have less competition around them. So for example, the example I have here is start business or business plan or business ideas or keywords like that that are still common and popular, but they're not as difficult to rank for. And what you'll find is it's easier to rank for them, there's less competition, but it's still not 
so easy especially in competitive niches like games, health and fitness, those need photos, social, they're, those are very competitive niches. So even when you take a step out and, and find keywords that are not as competitive, it will still be pretty competitive. So then you, the next step is to go for long tail keywords. And you see the long tail keyword example that I have are business plan, for a restaurant, and you can geek out on this, you can go business plan for a restaurant, business plan for a coffee shop, business plan for a mechanic, business plan for a mobile app, business plan for a, anything, spaceship, you see. So you can go very long tail. And in the beginning, the long tail keywords, they're the ones that are going to get you your initial downloads. And when you get when you have your initial downloads and those people leave nice reviews and other, you know, and, and things like that, your app will begin ranking higher and higher and it will begin ranking for the shorter keywords. And notice that the long tail keywords that we're targeting, they contain our short tail. So at the same time, we're giving our apps a chance to rank for both the long tail and the short tail keywords. So in time, you, your app can start ranking higher for the long tail keywords as well. 